everyone and welcome to Kezia's Corner. My name is Kezia and this is my beauty freaking space. I post every single Wednesdays and Fridays where I post all my makeup videos and then on Sundays I post my vlogs. If you're new here I would love it if you would join my lovely family and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for watching yet another video of mine. So today's video is going to be an exciting one because I'm going to be trying out for the first time ever the, uh, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Volume five palette and this is the look I created. So if you want to see what I thought of the palette, how the palette looks like, how the palette tests, how I achieve this look, what I thought of it at the end, then keep on watching. And if you love today's video then give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more then press subscribe. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with today's video. Bye! Okay so let's begin. So I'm really excited obviously to dip into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Volume 5. This is the box that it comes in and then you have the beautiful beautiful lilac palette. It's absolutely gorgeous like this is how it looks like from the front and then this is what it looks like from the back. This is then the palette from the inside. There's so much purple going on. It's so pretty and I, I love that B1 shade. The D2 shade, the E1 shade looks pretty too. Oh right, you're not seeing. So this is the B1 which I really like and then I like this one which is the D2 and then the E1. So I'm so excited. Let me remind you that these are vegan. They are cruelty free as well. Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh my god, so freaking pretty and I'm so excited to use it. Don't know yet what I'm gonna do but we're just gonna do something for a pretty date night, basically, that is what we're going to be doing because I am going to go out for a dinner date now. So, ooh. okay, okay, okay. Let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think, think, think. <laughs> I think I know what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I hope you don't find it boring, <laughs> boring though, but like, should I do a purple look? See, I know I got this like for the purples, but I'm seeing like, I didn't know that I had so much like browns over here and I'm just interested by them and then I'm interested by the E1 and the D2. So I think I'm gonna do something with them. Or maybe I could actually use the purple. No, should I? All right, so I'm gonna use the lilac, guys, okay. So I'm going to take B3, which is this one right here. So this is B3 and I'm going to take that as my first shade. Oh, there's a lot of kickback there, can you see? That's a lot of kickback guys, so make sure that you pat your brush because you don't want to end up with too much. I've also um, already primed my lids. I used the Revolution, the um, Prime and Lock, I think it's called, um, concealer to basically prime my lids. So okay, I've decided to go in with this lilac apparently, I hope, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. So this is going to be in my crease, I've done this. <laughs> Specifically because it's a lilac palette, so I guess I should, right? Whoa, but this is really pigmented. I'm actually really impressed by the pigmentation of the, the shades. I mean, Norvina are no, known to be quite pigmented. At first, when I saw the palette, to be honest with you guys, I didn't think I would buy it. However, then I kept seeing like promo after promo and like swatches of the shades. And I was, nope, and then I was like hooked basically to it. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna maybe put a little bit, but I don't want that much because I want to focus on the E1 and the D2. And in my head, I think like choosing a brown would be the most ideal. So I think I want to actually take this one. For some reason, I want this one. So this is the A5. And for some reason, that is the one that I want to take. So... I'm going to take that. So I'm going to put this, basically, the A5 underneath the B3. <laughs> it's coming out like a purple shade. Um, so, like a dark, a dark purple. Can you see that? It's like blending into a dark purple with the B3 shade. If I had a wee bit more time, I probably would do a full cut crease. However, like I'm getting ready for a date, like I said, so I don't have as much time. I want to just go into B3 again to just get back that lilac. 
Yes, okie dokie do. Okay, so I think I'm going to add just a wee bit because all of a sudden it's calling my name and I just, I wish to just apply a wee bit because I cannot not <laughs> apply a wee bit. So I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is called E freaking five, which is that one right there. And I'm going to create like a V at the outer edge because I want to. So I'm just going to really gently create that triangle. Okay, now on a clean, fluffy blending brush, I am just going to blend that in. Ooh, yes, okay. So now I have space now for my E1 and D2. <laughs> Basically, those are the shades I kind of wanted to use as my shimmer shades today. So, way happy with that. I kind of want to take a wee bit of B3 on this brush and just gently, gently, gently. Like apply it there on the top because I want that like purple lilac shade. I'm going to do a half cut crease, always on my trusted Wicon brush, always. <laughs> Okay, and I'm going to take my, okay, I'm going to take this wee brush over here and I'm going to take E1 because that is the one that is calling my name and I'm going to take this shade right here, which is E1. And first I'm going to take it on this brush, on a brush, basically a flat brush, and I'm just going to put it onto the concealer. I think I will then go into, go into the shade with my finger because I think it's better that way. Oh, but the shade is gorgeous. That's so pretty. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go into D2, which is the one I always wanted to obviously go into, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna take this little brush <laughs> to basically apply it with. I think it goes on very well. something like that and then what we can do is we can actually go into maybe I don't know I'm gonna go into this one which is calling my name and this one or maybe should I go into that one okay I'm gonna go actually in this one which is called a3 so I want to go into that one and that will be the transition shade between the e5 and the shimmer basically so I'm going to gently apply it Something like this. I think something like that is perfect. Okay, so this is the eye look so far. So we have the eyes ready, and now we're just going to focus on our faces for now. So I'm gonna be using this as my primer. This is the Revolution Super Dewy Hydrating Serum. I want to basically glow today. And we're also gonna be using the ABH Luminous Foundation. So I thought it would be the best way to do so. I don't want to apply a lot, so basically always. Little goes a long way. So I don't know if I should like apply pore syrup, pore primer. So I'm just going to apply some pore primer using my goodbye pores. My pores are always around here, so. So now we're going to apply the foundation. And like I told you, I'm gonna be using my Luminous Foundation from Anastasia. Beverly Hills, which is this one right here. Applying the foundation. I actually love this foundation. It's one of my favorites of last year. <laughs> Ooh, what concealer am I gonna use? Good question. Yeah, found it. So I'm going to be using the Benefit Boing Concealer. Actually, I love saying the name. Boing. Oh, I forgot how yellow this is. Should we put on like lashes? You know, I will see the time. If there is time, we will. If there's not, I won't. Okay, 
So that is the foundation. And now I'm gonna just contour my face a little bit. I don't think I, think I put in some glitter. No, I did not. Let us do, where is it? <laughs> this one, this is the Rimmel Insta Duo Contour Stick. I don't have much like products to contour with, like which are cream products. So that may be something that I could invest in. Cool. Oops. Okay, so far I'm just gonna, I'm just going to blend that in. And then we can use this side to right it up my nose. Okay, so we're going to apply powder. Powder, I'm going to use my Kylie one because I feel like using my Kylie one. So this is the setting powder of Kylie. I'm going to just set my under eyes gently. No baking. Now I think we can finish our eyes. So I think I want to do lashes. Mom, mommy, I hope I manage. Okay, so what are we going to do in our lower? What are we going to do in our lower lash line? Well, I think, I think the best thing would be to apply B3. Like B3, I think is the one I'm going to be adding in my lower lash line. So I'm going to just apply some of B3. I like that. I don't want that much. Okay, and then as my inner corner, oh my goodness, I have to use B1, which is this one right here. It's like this really sparkly freaking shade, which is beautiful. So I need to use that one. So I'm going to just get a wee brush and I'm going to just apply it. Ooh, the glow guys, the glow. Absolutely beautiful. I like that a lot. Started creating this look. This this was not the look I had in mind. I'm also putting it in my brow bone highlight. But yeah, that is the finished look. Okay, so now I'm going to leave you and basically try and apply these Revolution doll lashes without any liner. If I don't succeed, I'm just going to put on mascara. So yeah, BRB. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so after a long, long time, it is now. What time is it? Okay, I have to get ready now. I have to, oh, they take forever. Fine, I'm not gonna touch it anymore because I had a gen then. <laughs> so let's just finish off the look. So for bronzer, I'm gonna use the Nat Bronzer from Revolution Pro. This was a collaboration a while back. So I'm going to be using this as my bronzer today. Why is there a hair? There's a hair? Nope, okay. There's no hair, right? No. So I'm going to use that as my bronzer. Stress me out these lashes. Also now I'm kind of like torn on to what I'm gonna wear. For blush I'm gonna use this, absolutely love this, it's from Essence and this is one is called Coral Sunset. I'm so excited. Now for food though, like I'm really excited. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay and then I'm going to just take the, the highlighter from Benefit which is this one right here. Okay so that is Avon as well. Ooh, we're flying by now. Okay, so I also ordered with the um, eyeshadow palette, I kind of ordered two lipsticks and I'm gonna use this one. This one is called Stripped. I also got the one called American Doll. So I'm really excited to use these. Kind of wish it was a little bit more on the pinky side, like I thought it would be a bit more pinky, but it's good, I don't mind. So now I'm going to use, let's use this. This is the pink fix la plus pink light. Oh yeah, this goes like this. Can you see? So this is from MAC and I'm just gonna use this. Go oh God. And that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching. I need to go because I have to obviously get dressed now, but Oh my days, I absolutely love the palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Norvina 5 palette. So I definitely recommend it if you guys love purple. And basically this is the finished look. I'm so happy. And I also put on lashes without eyeliner. Woo! We celebrate. Okie dokie. So I am going to go now and I hope you enjoyed watching. Final thoughts on this. 
I definitely love it. This is where the price, not much because it's so expensive, but it's so pretty at the same time. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish the video here. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more, then press subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.